all right guys i didn't want to make a video about this at first because i already covered it previously but a lot of people have been asking about it and i seen dream strike just did a video about it i didn't really watch it but you know obviously the concept people are interested in about so uh i'm gonna do that right here uh this guy joined <laughs> so i'm gonna show you how to find your perfect sensitivity in this game okay because i play on like a bunch of different uh sensitivities three three linear two two linear five five dynamic i'm throwing it around you guys are probably like what the heck like you're saying different sensitivities work for different things i'm just trying to be the best that, uh i can be at the game like why are you you know throwing all these settings around um so i'm going to show you how you can find your perfect sensitivity in this game all right and it is different uh depending on which response curve you play so what i would do is if i was finding my perfect sensitivity i would go all the way down to one all right i showed this uh, before for people who watch the channel I, w I am on lower fov uh i was like testing something out and like trying to do another video right but i'm gonna go to like 115 um and what i would do is i would look at this wall right here and then i would try to center onto a character and not try to overshoot okay so i'm gonna go all the way down to one yeah i'm at one right now right and boom i'm not like overshooting or overlooking and i'm able to aim directly at him all right so one i can kill people at one super easy right super easy all right now i'm gonna see if i could do it at two so on two all right i mean uh it's it's pretty good nothing crazy right okay boom i can i can kill him at two so two works for me now i'm gonna go to three and i can keep repeating that over and over until i hit a point let's just put it at like eight eight right until eventually let's just say like seven is good for me i go to eight i'm like whoa i'm like overlooking maybe i'll try to like uh time it right um underlooking right it's just chaotic that is not a good sensitivity i know a lot of pro players they play like six six i can't play six six if i'm playing on dynamic which they play dynamic i play five five because when i play six six go to dynamic boom look at this i i can't i can't do that it's like really bad for me and i guess that's just me but that's the issue right it's just you you the player have a sensitivity that works for you okay um and if i play on five which i've been dropping insane kills on my 40 kill games uh boom i'm able to do it like pretty pretty easily just like that all right boom 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 and recoil control another thing i want to say too um is your ads sensitivity multiplier so you want to be testing all these uh sensitivities on one ads multiplier right you almost never want to change this and the reason that is is because let's just say i'm on i don't know 88 and i'm putting it on like 0.75 or something right all right i'm like oh well i can control it at 0 0.75 with 88 that will be good for me but that's wrong because if a character is moving really fast and you're on 0 0.75 ads then you're gonna have a hard time tracking them close range to where they're jumping across your screen you might be a really good long range but close range you're gonna get destroyed if somebody's doing movement uh and just going around you in circles right they're gonna destroy you so you don't want to have a low sensitivity uh multiplier for your ads you want to have uh it around one you could probably put it on 0.95 or 0.90 but i highly recommend you leave it at one that's the one i play on almost every sense uh and just focus on your hip fire movements or your hip fire reticle right your movements like this and making sure you can match each target just like that all right now um i do play when i play linear i play two two or three three and um as you can see with two two it's so like uh easy for me to control like this that this is my best sense for aim but as you notice too i do play three three linear a lot where this is not as easy to lock onto each target but it does give me more movement speed all right so i would say prioritize your aim way more than your movement but if you are moving way too slow to the point where like you can't do tons of movement around uh the map and it's getting you killed then just move it like one or two notches up to the point where you can like actually be able to do movement and be able to look around and don't go too high because if you go too high you might have better movement but you're really gonna mess up your aim right there right so that's what i would say about finding your perfect sensitivity that's probably the best advice i can give you and you should yeah look at other settings videos look at the what a lot of good players are using and doing in that way uh 
but don't 100 rely on it and be like oh well this person's settings are the best in the game i have to use them uh because they might be on a different setup different controller different input delay you're playing on a ps4 they're playing on you know a four thousand dollar computer <laughs> with all these advanced uh programs in place to overclock their controller and things like that and their sensitivity is not going to work for you all right so those are the major things that like i would uh try out to see that you're really good at aiming and locking onto each targets um and you could do this like just with aim assist and people would be like oh if i take out aim assist i'm going to get a more accurate test if you're going to play the game with aim assist you might as well keep the aim assist on when you're testing things out all right so uh yeah i wanted to make this video because i had a lot of comments saying how to get really good aim in this game uh for the sensitivity wise like that's the main setting they were talking about hope this helps hopes this uh you know really points you in the right bleh, bleh, points you in the right direction and you get a lot of kills in Warzone.
Drop it into the AO. Oh, 